유튜버 여기서 났어. 태길이가 중국말에. Did you know that startups based on the popular webtoon Shidong? The movie is a blended comedy with life lessons, but how does it end? Let's find out. Startups, a 2019 South Korean comedy drama film written and directed by Choi Jung Yeol. It deals with a comedic drama that tells the story of a group of young people navigating the challenges they face while starting their own businesses. With its blend of humor and heartfelt moments, the movie captures the ups and downs of entrepreneurship and personal growth. The movie is based on the popular webtoon Shidong by Jo Gyeom San. It stars Ma Dong Seop, Park Jung Min, Jung Hai In, Yum Jang Ah, and Choi Sung Yoon. The film was released on December the 18th, 2019. The movie starts with Taek Il and Sang Pi, who are 18 years old, best friends and fed up with school and decide to buy a used motorbike online. However, the bike turns out to be in poor condition and eventually breaks down. While trying to restart it, they encounter thugs who damage their bike's rearview mirror. Taek Il gets angry and chases the thugs, riding recklessly which catches the attention of the police. Because of the bike's problems, Taek Il can't control it and crashes and falls. Taek Il and Sang Pil are taken to the police station. Taek Il's mother arrives and scolds him for using his school fees to buy the motorbike. Taek Il tells his mother that he wants to quit school because he thinks that she can't afford his tuition. His mother, a former volleyball player, gets very upset and slaps him. It's tough when parents and kids clash over dreams and realities, don't you think? The next day, Taek Il, who doesn't care about his future or living the life his mother wants for him, runs away from home with only $10. He gets on a bus to an unknown destination. Meanwhile, his mother, who works hard to support them, tries to find Taek Il by calling him, but he doesn't answer. Despite being strict with Taek Il, she hopes that he can have a better life than hers, which is why she works hard to pay for his education. However, Taek Il doesn't understand his mother's wishes and leaves her. Meanwhile, Taek Il ends up on a bus to a small town called Gunsen in North Jeolla province. After getting off the bus, he meets a red-haired girl named Kyung Ju, who punches him in the stomach because he made her angry. Later, tired and hungry, Taek Il sees a noodle shop offering cheap noodles and rushes in. He meets the owner Gong and orders a bowl for $3. While he's eating, a food delivery courier enters the kitchen causing a scene. Taek Il notices but doesn't ask about it. That night, he stays at a public bathhouse thinking about his next steps. Meanwhile, Sang Pil is living with his grandmother who makes a living by selling nuts. The next day, Taek Il returns to the noodle shop and sees that they need a food delivery guy. He quickly applies for the job. Gong tells him that he must work for at least three months before asking for time off and Taek Il agrees. Taek Il meets Gu Man, a careless food delivery guy who drops his change. Meanwhile, Sang Pil also meets a man named Dong Ha, who offers him a job but doesn't reveal the details until the interview. Back at the noodle shop, Taek Il is curious about the cook named Gyo Seok, who beats him up until he faints. When Taek Il wakes up, he finds Gyo Seok sleeping with his eyes open next to him. He realizes that he's in the noodle shop's employee quarters. The next day, Taek Il starts his job as a food delivery guy. His nosy and outspoken nature irritates Gyo Seok, especially when he jokes about his big body. During the same time, Sang Pyul also starts working for Dong Hua as a loan shark and debt collector. Taek Il is starting to get along with his co-workers, but he often argues with Gyo Seok over small things. They even made a bet, and Taek Il got knocked out again. Meanwhile, Sang Pyul, who works at a loan office, sees Taek Il's mother on the side of the road, and she looks like she's in trouble. Isn't it interesting how their lives keep intersecting despite their different paths? Later, Taek Il delivers food to Kyung Ju, the same red-haired girl that he met earlier at the bus terminal. He's rude to her, so she hits him. When he accidentally touches her breast, she beats him up even more. Taek Il goes home bruised and Jio Seok mocks him. Then, Taek Il got a video call from Sang Pil as he was busy. Jio Seok answered the call. Later, Sang Pil wanted to talk about Taek Il's mother, but Taek Il doesn't care and hangs up. While eating with his co-workers, Taek Il mentions that he got beaten up by a girl, and Jio Seok laughs at him. Meanwhile, Kyung Ju gets into a fight with two foreign men at a hotel and runs away after being beaten up. Taek Il and his co-workers see her running towards them, so Taek Il wanted revenge and tried to stop her, but then realized that she's in trouble with the two men chasing her. Taek Il helps Kyung Ju even though he gets beaten up. The fight causes a huge scene and the two men run away when residents come out to see what's happening. 
Taik Iltex come due to a diner to treat her injuries. She thanks him and says goodbye. Seeing her bare foot, Taik Il lends her his shoes. Then Taik Il continues to work. One day he delivers food to Kyung Ju again, and she returns his shoes. Isn't it nice to see such small acts of kindness? Kyung Ju tries to pay for their meal, but Taik Il refuses. That evening, Taik Il gets his first paycheck and plans to treat everyone. Gom suggests Taik Il visit his mother, but he ignores the advice. Jo Seok slaps Taik Il and harshly advises him, which makes Taik Il decide to visit his mother. When Taik Il arrives home, he finds a note saying that his mother's at work. He meets Sang Pil and they catch up in each other's lives. Taik Il suggests Sang Pil quit his dangerous job, but Sang Pil doesn't listen. Taik Il visits his mother, who now owns a simple bakery, and tells her that he works at a noodle shop. His mother scolds him for not continuing his studies despite her wishes. Taik Il leaves after giving her his first salary. After Taik Il leaves, a man warns his mother that the bakery will be demolished because it was bought illegally. A few days later, Sang Pil is beaten while collecting a debt and ends up in the hospital. Meanwhile, Taik Il gets into an accident when a car nudges his motorbike. The driver is one of the men who beat Kyung Ju. At the same time, Kyung Ju gets a job as a waitress at Gong's noodle shop and is offered a place to stay. To welcome her, they go to karaoke. On the way back, Taik Il sees the man who harmed him and demands revenge but gets knocked down. Jo Seok steps in and throws chips at the man's face. Then Sang Pil gets discharged from the hospital and hesitates to take revenge on the man who beat him, realizing it's wrong. The man who harmed Taik Il comes to the restaurant with thugs and causes chaos scattering Gom's daughter's ashes. Jo Seok gets furious and beats up the thugs. Taik Il and his co-workers learn that Jo Seok used to be a respected gangster boss. Jo Seok decided to change his life after meeting Gong, who was about to end his life after his daughter's death. Jo Seok saved Gong and started working as a cook at Gom's diner, leaving his gangster life. That night, Jo Seok's former gang members arrive, asking him to return as their boss. Jo Seok decides to leave to protect Gong and others. Gong understands and tells him that he's always welcome back. Taiki was devastated by Jio Seok's departure, seeing him as family despite the fights. Sang Pil sees Taik Il's mother's bakery has been sealed and tells Taik Il later when Taik Il visits his mother with Kim Ju, his mother reveals she was tricked into buying the building illegally. Frustrated, Taik Il calls Jio Seok for help, but Jio Seok tells him to solve his own problems. Jio Seok visits a rival gang asking for peace but they refuse and he beats them up. While the film was praised for its humour and heartwarming moments, some critics felt the ending was rushed and the character development lacked depth. The film had some genuinely funny scenes, but some humour is exaggerated, which is common in comedies. Although, after watching the movie, you might crave Chinese noodles. Overall, it's a light, enjoyable comedy, perfect with beer and snacks. So, will you find Startup a hilarious ride or be disappointed by its ending? Don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.